Hello, this is the schematic diagram I'm using to test my motors. So we have uh, the red 130 kilowatts and uh, another 35 kilowatt there, but it's not yet connected. As you can see, it's uh, disconnected in the plate. So I'll make first a test run with the motor without any load up the full throttle and then I'll connect the other motor and run in uh, regeneration mode. So this will act like a load. This will act like a motor and the other one like a load with the torque sensor in the middle. So the setup. Uh, this is an open source controller. Uh, there we have a torque sensor which I'll tell you later about it. And um, power analyzer here. Nice, very nice power analyzer with 0.4% uh, accuracy. I'm using uh, very fast response LAM sensors under one microsecond response time connected to all the three phases that goes into the back and then additionally I'm also reading the voltage of the each phase that again goes back to the inverter. Here we can see a board uh, with a small um, small uh, encoder in the back. It's a magnet on the shaft and then a small chip that is reading the absolute position and is feeding back to the controller. A small power supply for the 24 volts uh, that putting 24 volts to the board and then the battery pack all these batteries are here connected in series uh, these are the wires plus and minus go there into another current sensor and then uh, a, a break, breaker with two pre-charge resistors here so first I connect the wire I wait to the voltage to reach uh, 140 volts and then I engage the breaker and then I start the power supply of the inverter in the same time I'm um, so these are the encoder signals on the screen you can see and I'll proceed to the test with uh, without any load first so just spinning the motor up to full throttle so let's see this is a potentiometer it's connected to the to here so let's start here we can see the RPM we have the voltage, the current on the DC bus and the wattage on the DC bus. So I'm measuring on the first group the DC bus, then the three phases here and additionally we press and then we have the sum of the channels. So this is the power that goes inside the motor on the phases, the power that is actually on the outside of the inverter and uh, the first group is the power on the DC bus on the input. So in this way we can see the efficiency of the inverter here and additionally when I will connect the torque sensor we will be able to see the efficiency of the motor here, efficiency, mod efficiency and inverter efficiency. We additionally have the speed and torque signals coming from the torque sensor back to the power analyzer when where it has uh, some analogical inputs that can be uh, transform into any any signal or any value here the speed and the torque you can calibrate this and the module which will uh, transform the digital signal to analogical and feedback to the power analyzer so now the RPM is 935 the motor is very smooth running very nice now the controller is fine-tuned to the motor so it's running at optimum parameters and I will be able to fine-tune further when I will get the efficiency of the motor on the screen but after I connect the load. So we go throttle up so we check the RPM it's increasing 2400 now the motor is quiet and riding very smoothly 3000 rpm 4000 rpm 4000 
300 rpm you can check the current and the power 1 kilowatt is going now into the motor and about 5 600 watts are outside the, on the other side of the inverter so 5000 rpm now we go to higher maximum rpm 6800 rpm now maximum rpm maximum throttle for this voltage this is the second setup where I connected uh, both of my motors together uh, the 35 kilowatt and 130 and in between I, I, I have the torque sensor which is coming from a UK company Datum Electronics is the name with the range is from 0 to 500 Newton and 8000 RPM the accuracy is 0 0.1 and non-linearity 0.1 percent so it is very good torque sensor then it comes with this box you can buy it separately if you want uh, so the signal is coming here it is for uh, 5 8 and then you can display it displays uh, torque speed power and then how many uh, samples per second you get in real time from the torque sensor additionally it, ha it has a USB a LAN connection serial port so you can plug a stick and then lock the torque and speed directly to the stick if you want on the side has some uh, signals uh, the speed, the torque, thrust, power if you want so it, it has a nice software you can configure from 0 to how many volts you want to have the output signals according to the newtons uh, you have so this is very nice the power on 12, uh, 15 volts 1 amp so what I did I took this uh, speed and torque signal and put them back to my Tektronix uh, power analyzer it has in the back uh, analogical inputs so I configured this to, from 0 to 10 volts to have 0 to 500 Newton and from 0 to 10 volts to have uh, 0 to 8000 Newton so the torque will be displayed here and also the speed so together with math equation you can go and then um, make the formula power edit function so you can see I put speed times torque divided by 9.55 to compute directly the power so it can compute the power it can compute the efficiencies of the motor efficiency of the controller so here I have the um, the resulting number divided by uh, group B and parameter sum in watts times 100 and then I get the efficiency again I can have the efficiency of the electric motor which is um, grab B sum in watts directly on the screen function 6 So let's run uh, now. The VESC is running this as a motor. So I have the VESC connected in the back to this aluminium plate with some heat, heat paste in between. And then USB is coming through my laptop. So here is the VESC tool. Let's set some RPM here. Then it starts. So now we can increase the RPM to 2000. This is electrical RPM, is meaning that you need to divide by the pole pairs number. So since this motor has 20 pole pairs, you need to divide this RPM from here to 20, then you get 100 RPM. You can see here on the meter. Also, here on the screen we have the speed actually the speed here is not taken from the torque sensor I was able to compute the speed from the frequency so it's 8.3 Hertz again you multiply by the number of um, pole pairs and you get 
the RPM. So we can increase. So now it's running. We can apply by hand a little bit of load. So we can check here. Torque. This is again uh, 10 times smaller because I wanted to have a larger range to have less fluctuation and higher bend. So what I did, I put uh, 10 times less here and then I have the real torque on the meter exactly here. So if I apply some load, 1.2 meters, 2, new 2 newton meters, then it's 23, 24. So it's exactly 10 times less on the screen there, but it's exactly the torque, real torque here on the power analyzer. So we can play with the speed, increasing a bit. higher speed now what I want to do next step is uh, to run the motor in a generator so I will run the VESC the, I will run the open source controller in a regenerative mode so I'll put back the energy to the batteries or I can do this as a motor and the other one, the VESC is a, re a regeneration, so it will put back the energy to the battery, the VESC, together with this. So I can measure both of them, either that as a motor and this as a generator, or this as a motor and that as a generator. I can compute efficiencies of both of them in both the generator and or motor. Uh, so, we can further increase. RPM. It's running very nice, smoothly, quiet. Let's apply a little bit of load. As you can see here the RPM, when I apply a little bit of load it's trying to keep the RPM constant, when I take out it's overshooting a little bit but then coming back. I think the regulator of the VESC tool is really good, running very nice, doesn't go and oscillates like other regulators, it's quite nice. So now. I'm running uh, this as a motor and the other one as a generator. I'm putting now, I configure the VESC to brake with 1.5 amps. So I can set the regeneration current exactly what I want. As you can see now the current is minus 1.5 amp. Generation power is 430 watts and the current of the motor 20 amps. And battery minus uh, 9 amps, something like this, we can measure uh, minus 8 amps the generation current very light, there is no heat at all because the power is very small controller is putting uh, now about 85 amps to the motor and the voltage is 4, 4 amps, 4 volts sorry, power going to the motor 1.1 kilowatt, efficiency around 85-86% of the motor at this low power, very nice.